right, this is our bad ball finishing drill. So it's just a way to work on our inside finishing, our ability to catch bad passes and finish. We've got cones set up on both sides. We want to kind of stay tight to the crease so it forces the guys to learn how to handle right on top of the cage and finish. Uh, Michael's going to start with the ball. You'll see Bridgel have it in his left hand. Michael's line has it in his right hand. On the whistle, Bridgel will come across. Michael's going to throw him a bad pass, so ideally something on his opposite shoulder, on his hips, somewhere that's going to challenge Bridger to catch the ball uh, and finish again all in tight to the cage. After he finishes, he'll follow his pass, he'll go right back to the other side of the line, and we're just constantly repping out each side, catching the bad pass and finishing. Here we go. Good. Catches it nice and tight to the cage, off that opposite shoulder. It's all just handling that bad one inside, getting comfortable around the cage. We put that cone around the outside so we know they have to stay inside that. We've got the crease inside that they've got to stay out of. Good. Now we'll change it up so they threw one off the opposite shoulder. Now this next time around, we'll start putting bounce passes. Good. So they've got to catch the bounce pass, catch the bounce pass, catch that hard bounce pass and finish. Soft hands right around the cage. Finish in nice and tight. Right. If we have a goalie, we'll add it, them in. What we'll do is if the guy hits the goalie, push-ups for the offensive player, if we finish, we'll give the goalies a number that they have to stop before they have push-ups. 